Good day, everyone. You never know unless you try. So, I put up 99 Flame Elementium for 70,000 Desire Beads, uh, which after tax you get 61,250 Desire Beads, which works out to be 618 beads to one Flame ele Elementium. Uh, this is a lot bigger sample size than the previous one. So I have updated the sale um, price of all of the items that we got last time with the current. And I will just be spamming buying them. I'm going to remove every single one of these items out of my inventory. Uh, I still have the range of what they cost. Um, so I will just look in my inventory at the end of the run and we will see how much of the um, profit there is to be had. So this is my workings sheet that we'll be going off. All of the beads per FE are updated uh, with the current price on the market being this column here. Um, and yeah, I will try and keep this one short and sweet. Uh, of 20,000, we made about, um, I don't even remember how much. Was it like 50? I don't know. Hopefully we make 100 FE profit off this. Hopefully we make 150. I don't know. If I make 150, I'll put another 99 up. Um, anyway, I'll get to it and I'll get back to you shortly. Well, this one's profitable. Dazzling brilliance, shiny might. On this one screen, I've got 15 flame elementium. Oh, on this one as well. Pretty crazy. These go for 2FE unidentified, so if I have a spare inventory slot, I don't mind. They're rare, but every now and then you get 2, 4, 8. So 2, 4, 12 flame elementium in one screen. Um, I'm pretty much done. It's taken about half an hour. I've chatted to my brother a little bit, so that distracted a tiny bit. Um, but, yeah. So, using 61,000 um, beads takes about half an hour. Of just spamming. If I was inputting everything that I bought as I bought it, that would have taken about 20 times as long. Um, so, 31 minutes to hand them all in. Excuse me. All right. Quick scroll through. So, 136 mods tricks. We only got one lost secrets. I uh, forgot to put them away, but I remember only getting one. We got 55 dated brilliance, 29 shinies, uh, a bunch of shiny compasses. Um, we got seven dazzling brilliance, which is crazy. Um, a couple of other ones that popped up that I price checked as we went was Crime Forgivable, uh, Boundary Exempt. Um, I only saw one of these. I've never seen them in there before. That's why I still had two here. Uh, so I got one of those. They're worth two Flame Elementium. Um, other ones I got this time only were Shiny Hunt, Shiny Dark Surge, Shiny Black Sail. Um... I didn't get any boundary, um, the big orange one this time. Got an absolute shitload of divinity fragments. Um, <laughs> I mean a shitload. Um, 27,000 all up. 555 uh, casting wedge. Um, we actually had 8 flat flame elementium. Um, appear, which last time I think I had one, so eight times more for only three times more um, beads, 1,200 exact, which makes sense because they're in lots of 10 or 30, so I don't know why I'm surprised by an even number there, um, 
yeah, so let's bring up the spreadsheet so we can have a look at what we made because someone was, I don't know, impatient. Alrighty, so this is a snapshot of everything that we got. Uh, a lot of this you can just um, use yourself. Uh, if you like mapping, then you've, now you've got 1200 uh, Netherrealm resonance, so you can pop a bunch every map. Um, 48 flame elementium worth of those that's half the cost already uh, casting wedges um, 555 that's another 33 and mods trick that's you know well and truly the cost of this entire thing everything else is profit uh, mods tricks just 34 flame elementium flat back uh, including the flame elementium that's 42 uh, and the Lost Secrets, so 43.3 .3 of the 99 cost is just straight back in your pocket. No need to trade or anything, uh, which is kind of insane, honestly. Um, you could even avoid, I don't know why you would, but you could avoid getting the uh, Dated Brilliance and the Shiny Brilliance, uh, these two here. Um... I mean, looking at the cost, they cost 5 Flame Elementium, and we got 18 and 19 Flame Elementium worth back. Um, a fair bit of tax. Um, did I do the tax? Oh, yeah. Um, I was like, wait, I don't have a total of the tax paid. Um, if you're interested, the total tax is 40.57. Uh, that's just the cul culmination of everything in that column. Um, so the profit is after tax, uh, which is good. So we paid 99 Flame Elementium for 61,250 after tax uh, beads. And we got... 266 flame elementium of stuff back uh it took 30 minutes and after everything sells up my my trade stashes are completely full of um path of the brave and uh, keegan stuff so it's the weekend so i'll sell this stuff over the coming week um 30 minutes for 167 profit that's pretty good for just slapping a trade up on the market um, it's a little bit intensive because you have to pay attention um, but yeah so that's that um, thanks for watching everyone now I am going to bring my spreadsheet over so if you are interested in tracking this yourself, instead of just looking at a snapshot here, um, I will explain my spreadsheet uh, for anyone who cares. Um, all right, so breaking down the spreadsheet, uh, we have the range of the minimum that you found, the max that you found, I stopped doing the minimum because I only care about the worst case scenario, which is uh, this column here. Uh, beads per FE um, is basically you get five for this. It's 16 and a half um, for one FE. So we need to multiply uh, column E by 16.5 to one, which ends up being 330%. Um, you can just do that in a um, percentagecalculator.net. Um, and then you just go down and you keep multiplying. So 4 to 1 is a 400%. Um, so we need to get this four times to make one uh, flame elementium. And all the way through. Um, so you can see uh, in, obviously, Dazzling Brilliant sells for 7. So... You're only spending um, 
23 beads per flame elementium for dav dazzling brilliance um, which ends up being 14.28 percent of this um, so yeah that's this column uh, it's just showing you how many beads you have to spend to make one flame elementium back obviously if the if you're buying these for 333 which is the going rate on the market on the sell orders that you can buy um, if this goes over 333 it's not worth it even if it gets close to um, 333 because of tax it's probably not going to be worth it um, these were 618 so they're definitely worth it um, but normally just keep that in mind uh, exchange this was back to front as I was doing it I was uh, updating how many I got on the exchange however now I have J22 divided by B22 so J is total gained uh, looking in your inventory I had 555 then we want um, so we want this divided by B which is the amount per trade-in, uh, which gets you 111 exchanges. 111 exchanges times our high end um, here gives us the amount of beads that I spent. Uh, the cost is um, the beads divided by how many beads per one. Uh, so this cost us 14.02 um, flame elementium to gain 555 of these. Uh, the trade is just J22, which is J here. Total gain 22 divided by 16.5, which is how much it is for one flame elementium. Tax is just divided by 8. And um, profit is obviously what you sell minus tax. Um, and that just goes all the way down. Uh, down the bottom here, I've just got a quick tally of all the beads that you've used. Uh, beads at 618 to 1 is 99 flame elementium because of tax. Um, the buy order was 99 for 70,000, but the 8 to 1 tax takes off the um, 8,000 or so. Um... And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a tally of all the tax paid. Obviously, there's no tax on Maud's trick because it's a um, memory card hand-in. There's no tax on Flame Elementium because it's Flame Elementium and another memory card hand-in there. A grand total. And then your profit is your total minus your cost. Uh, gives you your profit. Um yeah, that's what I have. Um, if you stuck around for this explanation and you would like to uh, see my other tests, um, I think that was an early beads test. Um, down here is just another beads test. That's last, last season's crafting i wish it was this anyway moving on i was ranking which maps were good again last season um this is path of the brave just a quick down and dirty uh spreadsheet and what is this one familiar nexus hey keegan Minus 24. Don't overpay for your keys. Don't get greedy. And anyway, if you would like any explanation on any of these other um, graphs, or if you would like this explanation at the end of a video of any other um, tests that I do, please let me know in the comments below and I will include that uh, in the future. Thanks very much for watching.